save against this Lux Caitlyn combo. And then we're going to have Swain for Brad. So Silas is going to be going in the jungle. Silas will be able to probably 1v1 this Viego, maybe even go play top lane or maybe play off mid for this. And then we have Swain as well, a very strong AP champ mid. So yeah, this is going to look like an interesting game. Yeah, nice mid champ. Mm -hmm. Red's very confident on his Swain, and I think his Swain has seen a lot of improvement. I haven't seen it play yet, so... Right. Get ready to be amazed. Okay. Swain is also a really good counter to Anivia. Um, I think Swain really just locks down Anivia a lot of the times, but Anivia can still do her Anivia things, like stunning Swain, slowing him, and pushing him away off her, because Anivia does have those defensive tools against Swain. But Swain does have his grab, which will immediately pull Anivia back into the fight. His ult is basically a circle around him, does damage, and heals him. It's going to be really hard, especially for Anivia if Silas is coming in and the just immediate lockdown of Anivia egg and then killing her again. Uh, let's see, what else here? I've had an experience with Anivia where we were fighting Anivia and we just let the egg sit there in front of us during a team battle and let Anivia just come back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you don't hurt the egg at all, she will come back at full health, which is kind of annoying. Yeah. I, I figured that out. <laughs> the hard way? <laughs> the hard way. <laughs> it is a really annoying. Anivia is a really annoying matchup, but I feel like Bradley here is going to play off, and he's going to do really good. I had to catch myself. <laughs> Listen, you just got to be more annoying than the other champ. <laughs> I don't think Bradley's going to go for more annoying, but I think he will try to outplay her, which is <laughs> annoying. <laughs> The mind games, man. Yes, mind games is going to be really important in this match. And also, team fights it might be a little chaotic here. Oh, oh shoot. We do know. have some good team fight yeah. characters like Silas, Swain, Fiora, Leona especially. But they also have pretty good team fight potential with Viego and Darius jumping in. And then Anivia starting her chains with Lux, Ol, and Caitlyn. It might start a little bad, but I think we have the upper advantage with Leona and Swain, Silas, Fiora, just really good characters. And Varys, too, being able to get rid of Caitlyn, Lux, and Anivia basically in one shot. But we're going to have to watch out for this Viego. Viego is definitely going to be the most problematic in this game, but we'll have to see. Mm. I've played my fair share of jungle matches before. Viego, I s swear. <laughs> that champ is going to be the death of me. <laughs> okay. Every time. Yeah, and we're also going to be seeing uh, Lux here in the bot lane. She's just definitely going to try to focus this Ferris. Leona's, Leona's whole purpose here in the bot lane is just going to be stopping uh, Lux and Caitlyn on engaging. So Lux and Caitlyn are just going to be playing the poke lane basically throwing out their abilities, not trying to start a fight. And it's basically going to rely on if what the junglers on each team does here. Oh so if, let's say,
Trotsky, where's my makeup artist? Uh, all you gotta do is take out your phone, take a selfie, and you'll see your makeup artist. <laughs> like, where's, you know how news channels, they have someone to fix up our... Yeah, we don't have that budget. You can't. What do you, you mean we don't have that budget? You can't rejoin. You do not have any budget. <laughs> There's no budget? Oh, okay. There's no budget because we have it on one. <laughs> I might spend it all. <laughs> Why'd you spend it all? I need a makeup artist. I need a makeup artist. Yeah, oh my. We don't have makeup, but we do have lights. There you go. <laughs> it makes my skin brighter. <laughs> it makes it glow. It does. Yeah. You know what? We work with what we have. Pink, I need blush. Blush. Give me your blush. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's my smoothie, not blush. Um, pause time. We're paused right now. Yep. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, darling. Mm -hmm. Thank you, darling. I know it's hectic, but then again... Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm... That's Only. fine. Only? I don't... I don't know that much league knowledge. I'm letting Noah take the. Listen, I I can do some comedy on the spot. That's though. why Gra Drowski grabbed me by the arms and said, "You know more about this than yeah. anyone else here." Yeah, well, I, except for maybe Alex, but I think I have the better uh, knowledge on the game itself. Yeah, I'm. <laughs> I then mean, again, I will I will not make it the Noah show, including Alyssa. I'll make it more. I'll ask you questions. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just. I just kind of because I'm just gonna talk about the statistics and the standpoint on how the game is gonna go. Hopefully, we're gonna win this one. Oh. Hello. Hello. Oh my God. My fault. Are we muted now? All right, so we're going into the match right now. We see Anivia, uh, Caitlyn, and Lux is immediately going straight to mid. This is Lux mid, which is very surprising. Uh... Anyway, okay, so this is a Lux mid. This is very surprising. Bradley is going to have a treat for himself to be with, but bot lane is going to start to worry about about right about now. Anivia did not buy her support item, which is really weird. Um, there is no support item on Anivia, just um, a ruby crystal. I forgot there, the there isn't? A, where do you see the items? I'm blind. Oh! <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Uh, we don't know Darius's item right now, but we know that Anivia strangely does not have her support item, but she's Minions going the lane. Spawned. Maybe this is a mistake, or maybe this is the new meta that I've not heard about. <laughs> Other than that, we see that everyone's in their spots of if maybe someone's invading. Mm -hmm. We see that uh, the enemy team is not thinking about invading, so even though they're not thinking about it, it's still good to stay in the spots that we know, like where bot lane is standing, where the jungler is standing, where yeah. mid is standing, where top is standing, to make sure that nothing else in the game is happening. They're gonna start immediately getting the blue buff for Silas. Silas does start blue, the mana uh, for his, uh, his mana for his abilities would be nice to have blue buff start. Red buff could work, but it's more efficient to go blue. 
Yeah. Viego is starting his blue, strangely enough. The red would be better for him, but it just makes it easier for his uh, uh, okay. bot lane to get better. Yeah. Oh, the bot lane to be in lane faster. See that bot lane is farming. Anivia is hitting wave. Maybe this is Anivia sharing lane. Who knows? We see Fiora immediately fighting level one with Darius. The does, bleed effect going on. Does Darius have no items? Darius does, in fact, not have items. Huh. Maybe, he's a, maybe he's feeling himself a little bit, and, uh, and that's a Levi Darius immediately bye -bye. gets the kill. <laughs> nice job on Levi. Uh, Darius used both his sums right there, so mm -hmm. now Darius is having to think that he's going to have to start playing safer and maybe buy his May items. Maybe, maybe buy some items. We see Leona with that amazing E on Anivia, immediately shutting mm -hmm. her down. Without her support item, Anivia is not going to be healing as fast or gaining that much mana. Caitlyn using heal right now. So now Caitlyn's heal is down and Anivia's flash is down. So now they only have a flash and ignite in bot lane while we have all of our sums up right now. And bot lane is looking like they're getting the CS, the gold better than Anivia and Caitlyn right now. And they're in a powerful stance right now where Leona can just jump on someone right now and it's hard for them to get back in there. Even though Viego is bot side, so we should worry about that, but we don't know that Viego is bot side. So hopefully we start playing back a little. Lux is just being Lux, going out her E's towards Swain, but Swain immediately grabs her, hitting her with the W, making sure she has to go back towards Swain and actually getting hit again. Uh, we see Fiora pr putting pressure on this Darius. Darius finally has an item. We see that Fiora also warded uh, the blue buff, or this was the Silas. So now Fiora knows that, uh, and should have told the team too, that Viego is now red side on their side. Uh, and so now that Fiora can play aggressively, knowing that Viego is down on bot side. See Leona missing the E, that's okay though. It's, it's, <laughs> don't laugh. I, I just call it anything, okay? No, I just saw Levi's channel back in the middle right in front of the dairy. <laughs> <laughs> Levi does have a little uh, ego to him. We see that we are getting the Anivia down. Anivia Great. might have a revive right here, but she's too low to stay in the lane, and now she's dead, and then Nidia's passing this down. We see Bradley hitting a nice combo on this Lux, but Lux's barrier giving her that shield, taking away some of the damage that Brad inflicted. And Lux is still having a powerful stance, knowing that she can outpoke uh, Brad right now. Fiora putting pressure on this Darius, making him lose CS in lane. We see that we, are, we do have a gold lead in bot. There's Viego down there now. Viego is showing himself, but not fully yet to where bot knows. Viego is going for a gank. Leona is front and center waiting for it. Leona takes the stun and immediately grabs Viego, pushing him back, knowing that Viego cannot fight right now. Ooh. And Viego has to push back and then now back, unless he's going to stay in his lane, which he has no, uh, no jungle monsters to even heal off of. So now Viego is forced to back, knowing that Viego is backing. Uh, so now that we can tell the team that Viego is back, and now he might start playing topside since Fiora is getting the tower right, right about now, forcing Darius to back off. We see that we're looking for a gank right now on this pushed up Lux, we're forcing her flash. And now that Lux doesn't have flash, and Brad has his ghost still. We see that Lux is a level ahead of Brad, and Brad should be worrying about a Lux ult, maybe. That Lux ult would really hurt him, because he does not have flash, so if he's off guard, oh, he will like, get killed. Like that. Yep. All good, though. Brad does have the gold lead right now, right about now, so that... Still, and now Lux has to also back off with him. So now both of them are going to come back to lane together, and now Brad maybe have a sense of what he should be doing in the lane, and he now oh. sees how the Lux is playing. We're going to see Silas jumping on the Viego for starting Drake. Starting Drake too early by yourself is not really smart, especially when the bot lane is still in bot and the jungler can be roaming anywhere. So now that is a free uh, Infernal Drake for us. Infernal Drake uh, gives us a bonus AP. Is that your favorite Drake? Um, I looked at a few of the different ones. Infernal is really nice to have. More damage. Yeah, yeah everyone loves more, more damage. More damage. Nice combo on Bradley. Ooh. Hitting Lux with the W, getting more stacks of AP, I'm assuming is what Instant Passive was. We see that Lux hitting him with a poke. Bradley is playing this really good, really well. 
if you should have CS and then backing off Lux. We see that Fiora is having a very uh, a aggressive lane for D Darius, making sure that this Darius does not pop off later in the game, making sure that Fiora is the one to win this lane. We see that bot lane is returning and they are back and the enemy bot laners are backing off. We see that Lux is playing Lux mid, which is just poking. She can't really go up to Swain because Swain will immediately punish her for that, so she's playing the lane smarter as of right now. Not much Bradley can do right here, but just CS and outsmart her when she makes a mistake, which is a lot of the lanes. You make one mistake, someone needs to jump on that. Our bot lane, though, is doing really well. Bradley did buy Dark Seal, thinking and hoping he can probably get a kill on Lux here, and maybe uh, once he gets one kill on somebody or anybody, that that one kill will skyrocket immediately and start getting multiple kills. And then we see our bot lane is a uh, Leona bot Merc treads for the Nivea stun, and maybe the Caitlyn uh, a W Merc treads is really good for their team comp, especially with all the stuns. Like oh the yeah everything. Merc Treads would be probably the best thing for our ADC to go as well, but ADC should be going there. Attack speed boots. See Fiora has the Sheehan. First item on Fiora always is such a good item on Fiora. Does a bunch of damage. Darius is very low on CS. This Fiora is doing really good. Levi amazingly pushing Darius off the CS, making sure that he has to stay under tower. See Shane with the pokes and Varus. Varus in the poke is very good. Varus's job right here is just to poke both champs at the same time. We see that Viego has a run in with both our jungler and now our top laner is coming down. We are starting a team fight here. Viego immediately getting killed by Brad. Now Brad has two stacks of Dark Seal, which is boosting Brad. And now Brad has a bigger advantage than Lux. Grabbing Lux and stunning her and using his uh, image ability on her. You see that Brad is still having a more dominant role in this lane, making sure that Lux is staying backed off. But he still really wants to get a kill on her, throwing out his things right now. And you can't see what's going on, but bot lane is getting the turret, stopping Nivea. And Nivea is trying her best to stop them, but bot is getting the turret plates. We're going to see um, them clearing the wave. We still have a nice gold lead in bot lane. Oh yeah, I got that. The CS difference in all of them is pretty good. The only close one is, of course, Lux and Swain, them having a very tight lane together. But other than that, the CS difference is really good on everybody. We have a, six, a 6k gold lead. Uh, less than 6k, 5, 5k. We're seeing that we want to go in on a gank on Lux right now. We see that our enemy jungler, our, our, our jungler, tried to get on Lux. Again, forcing the Lux to flash because she's afraid that she might mess up there. Um, and now that Brad has, doesn't have to worry about a flash, Brad will probably should be able to back off here. He is way too low, and if one mess up by him, he will immediately... Oh, and he flashed that. Nice job, Bradley. Oh, no, not a flash. He... That was a ghost. Is that a ghost? Because I can see the boost over there is going now. See. Or he just straight up dodged. That might have been a dodge because the ghost is um, half the down. Oh yeah. So nice job on him. We see an amazing gank by Silas immediately Ooh. grabbing that Anivia and uh, Shane immediately stopping that Anivia from reviving which killing her off. And that just this is giving our ADC a gold lead and the kill lead. He immediately rushed Yomu's Ghost Blade, which is a great item on ADC for someone who can immediately assassinate someone. So Yomu's is giving the movement speed and the AD. We're seeing that we're jumping on Caitlyn because she's alone right now. And we're seeing Lux pushing in. Diego trying to get rid of the carry right now. We immediately jump on him. And we could even jump on Lux right now, but we're backing off. That's really good for us. We, might, we don't want to lose our good lead on Shane or even our jungler right now. Goes you see that Levi is still doing good on top lane, make, having that amazing 90 CS against his Darius is 11. Darius only having his Dorn shield. That that is sad. honestly kind of that's very sad. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like Darius is trying his best, but our Ooh. Levi is really good at Fiora and he knows his champ well. Late level six for that Darius too. Yep. That's missing his key right there. That's a 
We see that we might start break here with the bot with enemy bot or with with bot lane and our jungler. Oh, Diego's doing a gank. Diego is trying to gank top, seeing that he could probably get something from Fior. Immediate <laughs> stun on Diego, knowing his champ well, trying to get that last pocket heal, and he does it. Levi is a Fior goat. Knowing his champ well and knowing what him to perfectly W just to stun him for trying to stun him. We see that we're jumping on bot lane, immediately getting rid of Caitlyn, and now we're jumping on Anivia, one-shotting that Anivia. This bot lane is gone. Yeah, we One flaw on this bot lane is Anivia does not have her support item, so she's, Anivia isn't oh, actually right. getting gold, and she's actually stealing from Caitlyn. That's so Caitlyn doesn't even have that much CS. Anivia has more of the CS here. That's kind of odd, though, with the... Anivia item star and the Darius not starting. We immediately grab Lux. No, no flash from the last uh, uh, gank. Since now that she didn't have flash, she had only her barrier to try to save her, but she didn't win it. Uh, Silas is a pretty good lockdown champ, especially with Swain immediately grabbing right after. Bradley and uh, Noah definitely know their champs well. And knowing when the, when the gank was perfect, that Lux didn't even expect it. We see Demonte immediately stunning that Anivia. Perfect flash, perfect on um, Demonte for taking the turret shot so Varus can immediately shut him down. We see that Silas is going in on Diego using the Lux ult to scare him off. Silas is a little scared of how Darius is, but he's still going to go in for this kill. They, uh, Diego does escape sadly, but Silas is still going to stay around here making sure that he can probably get something out of this. We see that Shane is backing off, making sure that he stays safe. Not knowing where, since Lux is bot, he needs to back off and his support is gone. I see Silas is counter jungling by stealing uh, Diego's blue. Not really something Diego needs, but his abilities do get refreshed a lot quicker with blue. And so, But now this is really good on Silas. We see that uh, Bradley Sweener is building a Rod of Ages. Rod of Ages is the very scaling, more tankier item for a mage and does damage later on too as well. So we're gonna see Bradley scaling off this with his four stacks. So, so I was immediately grabbing the kill on Darius. We do have a lead here in gold especially. The gold lead is amazing here. And we do have a kill lead. It's not looking good for the enemy team right now. Not at all. Not at all. Does this feel nice seeing a Darius get defeated for you? This, this is therapeutic. <laughs> therapeutic. Like, I'm just, Happy? It's, it's happy to finally watch a Fiora beat Darius. I play Fiora against Darius. I get beaten down. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we see that Le Leona is charging head first because Leona is a very tanky champ. She could take all of this. She's immediately going to eat all stunning both Caitlyn and uh, Anivia. We see that they're focusing a little bit on Anivia because he knows that he can kill Anivia in the time while well, Demonte is charging towards this Caitlyn knowing that he can immediately grab her and stun her making this Varus get a kill off that and we had Noah coming in making sure that Caitlyn was dead. You see that the flash wasn't necessary <laughs> but it's okay. You know what I applaud him for that making sure that Caitlyn did not live that. Yeah. Listen. Needed. Gotta make sure. Gotta, gotta make, make sure. sure, you know? <laughs> Either that sure. or was trying to take the kill from his teammate, which would have been kind of funny, not gonna lie. But <laughs> <laughs> we see that everyone has a gold bounty above their heads, so this makes it a little easier for the enemy team maybe to lock down someone and get the gold lead, but that is not looking like the case. We are using our kills and our gold advantage on them, and the Drake advantage as well. Yeah. Diego is looking on stealing Rift Herald right right about now. Fiora might be able to catch him here. Fiora is, Fiora is heading towards Diego. Maybe Fiora can kill Diego here. Fiora immediately ults, getting two stacks on the Diego. Fiora can auto kill attacking Diego. To, <laughs> auto attacking of the death and stealing the Rift Herald. You see that Lux is holding off her lane, making sure that the minions don't take her tower. And Varus has bought Eclipse. If you're running down Darius. Poor Darius still at really low CS. Mm -hmm. Darius is using his ghost. He is way faster than Fiora, but the Q's with Fiora is making her way faster. Fiora, knowing that Ignite was going to kill him, just walked away and started focusing on her CS. We see bot lane 
With Nivea, I have bought Everfrost, which is a really good item on the Nivea, but without the support item, again, she's not getting the mana and the health that she needs. And especially the vision on this board is kind of... <laughs> kind of nasty to look at. It's kind of sad. Demonte with his 18 and oh, the enemy team does not have really good vision right now. Even Noah has 17 right now with all his roaming. Especially right now we're getting our third Drake. This is looking like a win for us. This is a very good lead for us as well. This is the Chemtech Drake. Chemtech Drake will make it easier for us to live these fights. You see that Bradley Sweeney is starting a fight on Nivea, knowing she can't escape, immediately jumping back on Caitlyn now. With his ghost jumping on Caitlyn, she has no escape from Brad. Immediately Varys is throwing out his slow, and now now Lux is forced to back off here, with Bradley jumping on Lux and his ult staying because Lux and everyone else have been in his ult, slowing the Lux and getting the kill off her. And Diego is stuck in this trap now that he was chasing. Just and Bradley has gotten 10 stacks on his Dark Seal. Now he can officially buy Majaya's. And Majaya's will give him 20 stacks now if he get, keeps getting kills. It's what's going to look like he's keep getting kills at this rate. <laughs> at this rate, he will keep getting kills. Because of that big that gap. That lead. That is a big gap. We see us using Rift Herald mid to try to push out this lane. We see the immediate grab on Anivia, shutting her down immediately. Bot lane trying to get rid of this bot turret. Oh, Ooh, Varus, Varus is taking a little blow right there, but Varus escapes. And Varus got away, but Caitlyn and Lux are trying to get him right now as Demonte holds them off. We are getting mid though, so now they have to worry about mid and not this Varus. Fior is going for the top lane uh, minions try to get the top lane tower as well. Rift Herald getting the main tower. We see that uh, Noah immediately shut down that Diego and now is about to kill Caitlyn as well. Oh. Oh, Ooh. Noah lives that. Oh, and and <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was unlucky, but it is okay. Lux got the shutdown. She's not really going to use her gold well. It's all fine. The Fior is getting the top turret. And now they have no turrets except for the bot turret, which is very low. So now the hyper big minions are going to come in and makes it harder for the enemy team to get rid of them. But it does give them a gold lead if, if we don't do something like ending the game soon or even getting Baron right now. Baron is showing up in less than uh, 30 minutes. Uh, th 30 seconds. 30 minutes? <laughs> look, look. <laughs> you lost your sense of time there. <laughs> But you, you want to explain what Baron does? Simple explanation of Baron? It just gives your minions extra boost. Makes you a little more powerful too. Yeah. We see the bears immediately shutting down Viego on the, the grab that Viego had on him. Darius holding off the wave. We see Noah grabbing his red buff. Varus not afraid of this Darius at all. Normally in this situation, Varus should be afraid. Caitlyn ulting frantically. Lux and everyone trying to stop them, but Bradley is going in. Ult. Bradley has his his uh, Rally's crystal slowing everybody in the ult now, and anyone he hits. And now he's about to hit 10 stacks very soon, giving him the extra level up. You see that Varus is shutting down people with that one shot. Lux is ulting to try to stop the Varus. Varus dodges it immediately. Leona stopping this, stopping his Viego as well. You see that our team here has played really well today with the first game. And now that we're getting the minions off, Darius is trying to hold them off, but Darius is immediately going to get shut down. That's why Lux is staying under the turret, because she's scared that if she walks up, we will grab her. But it's OK. We're getting all the minions. The minions are now very pushed up. You see Noah trying to grab a cheeky grab on Caitlyn. Caitlyn didn't get grabbed, but now he will have to pay the price for being under the turret. We do see we're, us jumping on the, the Nivea. We do kill the Nivea, oh. but we lose the Varus. I see that we're playing a little greedy for the kills, but that's all right. I we mean, you know, you gotta you gotta do it sometimes. We are backing off here, maybe to grab something. We're I, we're backing. We're back. Nexus is open. We're maybe we're trying to get Baron here. Or are we just trolling? Um, <laughs> I wouldn't want to say yes, but maybe. Uh, maybe we're just gonna grab Baron and then end. Maybe get the final Drake too. The final Drake will be up very soon. Yeah. Maybe we're gonna get Chemtech and Baron and then just end it off. 
And now we see that the enemy team is trying to hold off all these minions. The minions have already done half to the Nexus. We see that the surrender vote for the blue team has failed. They can, they can stay in this game here. We see that our, our Swain is going in with maybe Fiora. Fiora is pushing up the lane for him. We see that Leona and Varys are thinking about Drake here. But Swain is going in with the ult, trying to 1v5 everybody here, immediately grabbing that Anivia. And maybe, oh, everyone's staying under Nexus, uh, under the fountain. He's leaving the Nexus alone. And Swain leaves. <laughs> We do see that Varus is a little pushed up when Varus backs off as the minions now are coming in rampant with all these big minions. Maybe they could kill this Nexus. <laughs> I think our team is having a little bit of fun right now. I, I can't stop laughing because you can just, it was just that. We are getting the final Drake Chemtech after 50% uh, of your health is gone. It makes you have more armor and magic resist and lesser to die. Is Darius gonna die? And it is ended. Thank you for the game. Nice job on the Shores for doing really good this game, making that gold lead and especially the item lead. And a lot of this lead just in general. We did really good there. Yeah, that was nice.
back. Yep. Welcome back. We're starting with the game two bans. Immediately for our the enemy team, they banned out the Malphite. Malphite is still a very annoying champ. Maybe it's Malphite top, thinking it's Malphite top, or even the mid lane or jungle. Malphite is a really annoying champ. So they're going to continue to ban that. We see that they focus Brad's Vex. Vex is a yeah. very good mid lane champ, immediately fearing people and making it really hard. And she lets out all that combo in like one millisecond. <laughs> We see the Silas ban. Silas was a really good carry last game. I, I can understand why they would ban Silas. <laughs> we see we still are sticking to our bans, banning the Lux out. The Lux was the only one to get a kill on the enemy team. So smart decision just to ban the Lux out. Yeah, just get it out. Uh, we see we ban Pike and Ash. Pike and Ash. But Darius is back. Darius is back. Maybe he is more ready to come back and win this lane. Maybe, you know. Maybe, maybe, maybe you know, he's just ready. I, I, I believe in him. I believe in the Darius. He can he can get more CS this time, hopefully. <laughs> um, anyways, <laughs> so um, we're going to see who we're going to be picking today. I'm assuming since I see oh. Levi, that Alex, oh, yep, of course. Yep. Alex is playing today. His Mordekaiser, the yeah. Iron Revenant. Alex is ready to play Mordekaiser top, making sure that this Darius, again, doesn't have fun. Yep. Never let what it do you happen. think about Mordekaiser? Mordekaiser is an interesting champ. A lot of fun to play. Uh, not much fun to go against. We are seeing Karma, my queen. I love Karma. Karma is a beautiful champion. Amazing champion. She's amazing. Shielder. She can be played mid. Support. Karma is a really good champ. I'm assuming she's going to be played support here. But Karma is amazing. We're seeing Brad pull out the Jace. Cool. So this is a Karma support with a Jace. Jace is really good mid right now, and especially top two as well. But Jace is going to be doing something mid here. Maybe we're going to see a high-scaling AP ADC or... Oh, no, Mordekaiser is an AP champ. Yeah. So we're going to see Jace against Yone. Bradley has yeah, gone against, like against this like matchup before. Win. It's Yone. Yone might get a kill here, but Bradley is pretty confident. We see the yeah. Echo in the jungle. Echo is a really annoying champ. <laughs> yeah. I haven't played against it that much. I've seen him around every now and then. Seen I'll him see around these parks. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't see him around that often. So. <laughs> I will say though, his ult does get annoying, especially if you get him too low, just immediate. He just revive. goes back. You know. We're gonna see the enemy team banning our Leona. Leona was a amazing last game especially on the lockdown we are banning anivia no funny business <laughs> in this game banning caitlin as well on our team caitlin was doing the range that she could but we're just gonna ban her seeing that we've seen her being played here and we're gonna see the last ban on the enemy team here the enemy mm. team is probably looking to ban uh the bot lane Bot lane is the last one here. They banned the Varus. Yep. So maybe this is a Zaya. Yep. I called it. <laughs> you called a it. Zaya around here. Zaya with Karma is really good. We've seen the Velkaz. Velkaz Ooh. is a very good support right now. Uh, Even though is. many people won't think that, Velkaz does do a lot of damage for what it's worth. Velkaz could do something here with the Karma, especially knocking her up and making it easier for Kaisa to jump in. Kaisa wasn't banned. Uh, the Caitlyn was banned, so we're going to see them actually pick their Kaisa, which was banned last game. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see what jungle, and jungle is going to be Skarner here. Skarner is a really good jungle. Skarner does do a lot, and a lot of people don't even know how Skarner works sometimes, so this may be really good on us. Yeah, I don't see Skarner that much. It's one of those rare champions. You're like, wait, that exists? <laughs> we're pretty rare. <laughs> All right, so we're going to be picking our loadouts here. And what do you think about the comp here? Comp's nice. It's interesting. <laughs> interesting. It's it's interesting. Uh, is Garner AP or AD? He is AD. That's what I assumed. I'm assuming. I have not seen. Garner is AD, right? Mixed. Oh, he's mixed. Does he yeah. normally go AD if he's going a damage build? Oh, tank. Yeah. <laughs> Again, like you said, one of those champs I barely even see. <laughs> yep. But he's probably going to go maybe Speedy Tank Skarner. Speedy Tank Skarner is pretty good. 
I'm assuming that is what Noah is going to be doing here. And we're going to be seeing that Echo is being played again in the jungle. Maybe Noah is looking for to grab this Echo. But I'm assuming what's going to actually happen here is Noah is going to be looking to play the, the Yone, grabbing the Yone, making sure that Jason gets the shutdown here. And we're seeing that bot lane too. Bot lane is going to be maybe playing more defensively with the Karma against the Velkaz, but Velkaz will be trying to do a lot of damage and pressure on the Zaya and Karma and Kaisa as well. Kaisa will be able to combo that with the knockups and the damage on Velkaz. Definitely, hopefully, Velkaz buys a summoner, <laughs> a support item in this game, maybe. Yeah, you know, just, just a maybe. maybe. Just a maybe. And we see the Darius is back. Um, our AP is a very good Mordekaiser. Loves that. He loves that champ. That's <laughs> his favorite champ. That's I his baby. <laughs> that is That's his baby. That's he'll do if he plays jungle. Seeing how last game went, I think AP is going to do really well against this Darius. And uh, Brad has been working on his Jace a lot, and he, I see that he does really like Jace mid. So we're going to definitely see more improvement from maybe last time he's played Jace. Maybe some new combos, maybe something new this time. But we're definitely going to be seeing Jace be played more here in this lane. I mean, obviously he did pick Jace, but definitely he's going to be playing uh, Jace to the fullest now that Jace is being played. Uh, and he has been working on it a lot. I've seen an improvement on his Jace. Uh, playing more Jace in general. So, yeah, Jace is one of those champs where not a lot of people played him, and now uh, he's pretty I good need right to, like, now. I like, take notes. So. <laughs> take notes on Jace. Your mic's falling. Oh. You know? My bad, girly. I want to make sure it didn't just, like, <laughs> fall on the ground. That would make the worst noise. That would make a pretty annoying noise. There <sighs> you go. Uh, all right, so Yone is... Uh, Probably going to be the carry here, like last time. The mid laner did pretty good, was yeah. the only one who got the kill on their team and the only one with CS. But Yone especially is going to be a little annoying for the team. So Skarner is definitely probably going to play off mid a lot here. Definitely trying to stop this Yone from scaling, which uh, m more scaling off kills, scaling off gold, and especially just Yone in general, that he could probably just kill Bradley with a combo <laughs> and an ult. <laughs> That's a Yone move. That's basically how Yone works. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> All right, we're going to be jumping into the game now. We get to see the pretty skins. Oh, my gosh. The, you get to see your girly and see if she has a skin or not. That karma better have a skin on. Yeah, she does Sakura Karma. Ooh, that's a nice Zaya. Zaya skins are pretty nice. You see it. <laughs> AP with his Ashen Knight. The Warder Kaiser, he loves that oh, skin. Oh, that's... What's that really rare skin? It came out in the Mythic shop. It, I think it's gone right now. Yeah. It was one of the more expensive skins to own. Subscribe out the credit card. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, we're seeing we're immediately going to lane. This is a Yone mid, of course. Echo jungle. Echo is going the Dark Harvest build, probably going for like a one-shot Echo combo. You see that Zaya did bring Exhaust here, probably to stop this uh, Zai, uh, this, uh, probably both of them could work on exhaust. Velkaz does do damage, but mainly probably on Kaisa to slow her and stop her damage from going off. We see that they did bring barrier to bot lane. Uh, Velkaz probably thinking that he's gonna get focused here is did bring barrier to stop this. See that Velkaz is in a position where if bot lane is walking down, he could get a cheeky damage output on them right now. You see that Skarna is playing off top side. He's going to probably maybe start top or just warding it to make sure. Minions we are in the position right now, too, for, to get, uh, making sure that no one does a cheeky gank or anything. Darius under his turret. No one is looking for something, but we're doing pretty good here. No support item. <sighs> we see that. Yes, Velkaz does not have a support item. Darius starting with an item, though. Mm-hmm. You see that our Karma did start with her support item, but Velkaz does not have any support item. 
So this is gonna again make the lane harder for them. Yeah. Especially that Velkaz isn't gonna be getting gold and taking away his uh Kaisa's gold. You see that Brad is playing it a little safer. He does have the advantage here with the only only having his Q right now. You see that the Iron Revenant is going towards uh Darius right now. Darius, uh the Iron Revenant immediately grabbing uh the CS with his one Q. Echo did not get a leash, so the leash is a little slower for him right now, so Noah does have the advantage of having a faster clear right now. You see that Yone is pushing up, trying to get the CS without interacting with Jace too much, just like how he played last time. Probably looking just to poke here through Q's, maybe uh, jumping in. See that he's going for damage, Jace is kiting him perfectly. That was really well played on Brad kiting the Yone, but Yone is Yone, kind of hard. See that Karma and uh, Karma and Zaya are pushing up. Maybe they think that Echo did start blue this time, maybe not. All they know is that they are pushing up on the Kaisa and the Velkaz, trying to, you know, feeling a little more confident from last game, especially since they did kind of do really good in lane, so they feel a little more confident on how they're going to play. See that Yone did go on on our Jace, and our Jace did slap him back for jumping on him. What's your Yes. So Karma is playing a little more aggressive, which we love to see a Karma play more aggressive. See that Darius is going in, but Darius is immediately getting smacked up by the Mordekaiser. Darius did use his ghost there and a flash recently, so down Darius is not having a good escape tool right now. Darius still keeps getting beat up. I just feel bad at this point. Poor thing. We do see that again what is happening here with bot lane, the Velkaz and Kaisa sharing CS, so this is making it harder on Kaisa to get her items. But Zaya at a nice perfect 21 CS right now. Bradley at a better CS than Miss Yone. And Noah doing a better and faster clear. Maybe looking up for a gank right now. Who knows, maybe the Bradley it might bait something here, but we are watching uh, the Iron Revenant beat up the Darius under his tower, making sure that wave is pushed up a little bit. Mm. Any thoughts right now? I'm just watching Skarner go towards where Echo is right <laughs> now. We might see Skarner do something top here. We do have a sneaky little play from the Mordekaiser. Oh, and the Ignite. We might see something here go down oh. in the flash to get that last no. smack. And we are going to get first blood. Mordekaiser is going to have the gold lead now. You oh. see that Echo is uh, staring, <laughs> knowing that Skarner was there. Skarner hitting a little emote to see that he knows that Echo's there. Oh. Skarner is looking for something here. Doing the vision, immediately stunning that Echo, putting out the damage. You see that Echo is trying to fight back and he can't, and now Noah has gotten a kill there. Velka is immediately getting jumped on. Zaya with the, the root, and, and, and especially the Karma 2 did try W there, which he could not escape that. Nasty. Good on our bot lane, good on our jungle, and top for getting these kills. You see that Brad is probably going to have a little harder since his Yone will not fight him. But Brad is getting the CS gold, yep. and he is at a more advantage than Yone right now. Yeah, and I did back and buy uh, attack speed and boots, and Brad is still in lane, killing off the CS trying to get maybe a bigger item. See that we are getting plates here with Zaya and Karma. Since the Velkaz is backed off, we see that Karma immediately poking that Velkaz for jumping back into the lane. See that Noah is walking bot side. Maybe he knows that Echo's here. Maybe he's looking for to get uh, vision with the Skarner pads. He does get vision, seeing Echo clearing his camp. Maybe Noah knows that he can jump on this Echo, and Echo is backing off to his heart, making sure that Noah does not jump on him. He could see something go down here, but Noah is back playing the smarter and backing off from this. You see that Jace is immediately countering that jump on Yone. Yone did jump on him, and Jace immediately turned back all that damage with Jace's output. See that we're starting Drake early, which is a really good thing. Start getting an early Drake makes it way easier to get Drakes later, and also just an advantage early. Ugh. I, think I, have to I hate that feeling when uh, when you have to sneeze and then oh, like and you then don't it sneeze. Oh no! I feel. <laughs> yeah. 
uh, what he's feeling in the world. Oh, that is... I hate that. It's so annoying. You see that uh, top lane did hit 6 before Darius. So top lane is a little less aggressive and as I say that, immediately ulting, pushing Darius to a circle where Darius now has to is forced to fight him. And immediately the Iron Revenant is getting the kill. And the Iron Revenant and Fiora did play really well against this Darius and now they're feeling it. Uh, we see that Brad is getting the CS gear with Jace. He's going to be a late scaling king. He will be getting kills later on, I feel it, with Brad. Yeah. Brad knows his lane, and he knows that Yone isn't going to fight him, so he's just going to scale hard with all this CS, especially with the gold. He already has a bounty from just not dying. See that Brad is looking for something here. Yone flashing, even though Brad missed it on a minion. You know your lane, and you know your camp. You're pretty, pretty good. good off. Pretty good. See that? We're applying pressure on bot. Maybe Echo is looking for something on this Jace here, but Noah is near, so if Echo does try to do something here, Echo is going to try to do something stunning the Jace. Ooh, just holding him back, and Jace is immediately going to jump on him. Oh, taking a turret hit and backing off here towards the Skarner, maybe baiting the Echo to go back in. But they will back off. We see bot lane getting another plate here. Maybe trying to get something here. Velkaz barriering. Maybe he got a little scared that bot lane was going to try something. We see that Bradley is staying. Maybe he could get a good snipe on this Yone. Oh. Yone is thinking maybe he could use his ult somehow here. Maybe get something really good. We see that Zaya does ult here. Did not get the root off, but Karma got the root off on this Velkaz. Immediately killing him. Uh. <laughs> uh. This is my bad. Oh, I just have to sneeze right now. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we see this Echo farming up. He is late because of the kills that we've gotten. And Noah has been farming up really well, 52 to 42. We do have an advantage in gold again. Yep. 15k to 9, 9k. Advantage in gold, advantage in dragon. Kills, dragon. Maybe even the Rift Herald run oh, as we speak. Oh, Noah yep. is going for the I Rift Herald. That. Going that. Knowing that Echo is on bot side, Noah can just grab this withheld without any problems. Oh. See Jace is backing off from the Yone. Yone is looking to definitely get something out of this. Yone is ulting and misses it because of the flash. Bradley played that really well, getting oh. getting the ignite off. You see that Noah is scaring off this Yone, making sure that Yone doesn't even try to go for something here. Zaya pushing this Velkaz as well. Zaya making sure that the Velkaz doesn't even uh, get to play the lane, maybe just stopping him from doing that. And especially the Velkaz as well. Velkaz is going to be the main damage here since Kaisa's not really been in lane that much and Kaisa can't really afford to go in because Kaisa, as, as she is an ADC, but she does have to get a little closer because Velkaz does have longer poke uh, abilities. We see the Iron Revenant ulting again, making sure that Darius can't even go under his tower and uh, getting the kill. Iron Revenant does have this gold lead here and the kill lead, so making sure that now Darius can't really fight him at all now. It's a uh, lost lane to Darius up mm -hmm. there now. We see that bot lane is pushed up. Noah's ears might be parked right now. Eyes too as well. He might get something bot here if he goes down. But I think he'll just get the vision. Bot lane yeah. is being a little... Oh. We do see that bot lane is trying to get this Kaisa. She is a little pushed back. Karma with the immediate grab and the and the E to get the movement seekers just to get the root. And we see that uh, Skarner did ult to push the... Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> we see that he did ult to push the Kaisa backwards out of the Velkaz ult, so Velkaz couldn't do damage to us, and we did secure the Kaisa. Oh, we're getting close from that turret, but We Echo see that Echo taking. did jump on the Iron Revenant, stopping him from getting more of a gold lead, but Echo d can't really do too much since uh, the Iron Revenant is a higher level and a higher gold lead. See that Noah is going in on the kill, <laughs> and Rift did crash, and now we're going to get the bot gold uh, from that tower. You see that Jace is putting pressure on this Yone. Yone is jumping in, but Jace does more damage right now. You see that Echo is trying to hold off this Mordekaiser from going in on him. Mordekaiser sees an ult, and maybe he could get one off if he had it but he will just try to chase him down and scare him. Darius is walking down as we, this Rift Herald did get another hit on the turret. And we do apply pressure, getting the root off on that Kaisa. Kaisa's feeling a little pressure, getting poked out a lot more than this Vilkas has been poking us. 
So maybe this was pretty smart of the, on them for picking Karma here. Karma is a really good enchanter. We see that Yone is trying to get something bought. Karma using the movement speed on herself and slowing him in the process with Mantra Q. Nice job on the Karma for blocking that. We see that Jace now, since Yone roamed, Jace can immediately just so get this tower. Can I just say, I love how Skarner walks. It's so, it's so <laughs> endearing to me. Just like a little dude. He, he be wiggling. He be wiggling. <laughs> that is beautiful. <laughs> we see that Mordecai's are not afraid of this Darius smacking that tower, knowing that Darius can't really stop him. Nope, not without risking dying there. Mm -hmm. we, see, we see that we're getting the, the Hextech Drake. Yeah, it's Hextech Drake. <laughs> I almost said Electric Drake. I, I mean, just, technically. I mean, tech, you're not wrong. <laughs> Hextech Electric. Well, we are going to have Ocean Drake. Ooh. Ocean Drake is going to be buffing uh, our healing. Healing regen. Yeah. Healing regen, which is should not be on Mordekaiser. Mordekaiser is always healing. At that point, Mordekaiser is just a really annoying champ right now, especially that he has the lead. And she's just gonna be healing off all that damage. We do have a lead in every lane right now. No deaths on our team right now. This is really good. We're gonna see Jace bonking that uh, <laughs> that echo with a nice hit to the hammer. Nice job on the Jace for hitting him and catching him off guard right there. Echo is just trying to. You see that bot lane is doing a questionable thing, trying to get on this solo Zaya. Uh, Zaya did, uh, Belkaz didn't get all the stacks off, so the ult did no damage there. But we see that we're punishing them for doing that. And now Karma is immediately going for this Belkaz, flashing and getting the Q off, slowing him, getting the E off to get the movement C boost, missing the W. But Belkaz does get away with the barrier. And now Karma is a little too pushed up. Maybe Karma can get away from this. Karma might be the first kill. Yep. And Karma dies. But that is okay because Brad sees the echo. And Maybe Zaya here can get the kill. Ults immediately backwards. And now this is not good because now he's in a position where now he has to try to fight back. He immediately dies here. See that we're pushing bot lane together with Zaya and Jay. Zaya and Jace are pretty strong right now. So they can't really afford to jump in right now. Zaya is by herself that Jace is rocking towards the red buff, trying to get that turret away. You're backing off. The turret is very low. He could stay there, probably, but not the turret hit with the, <laughs> the Kaisa. The Kaisa right there. Yeah. So Yone is trying to scare off this Jace. Jace is like a tiger right now. <laughs> Don't want to run up to that tiger. And he mistakenly, blindly walks into the Jace. Jace immediately shutting him down. Like a little trap door spider. <laughs> comes trap out the ground, grabs the old Ooh, the nice route by Zaya, but Jace is being a menace right now. Getting rid of all these people. Jace is jumping on the Echo. Echo has no escape, especially with the Karma right there. If he ever thought of an escape. We see that everyone is bot lane and Zaya is just not afraid of this. Zaya is walking up. No fear in her heart. We're pushing Zaya dodges the knock up from Velkaz, making this a little easier for her to maybe even face a 1v3. She is backing off though because there is that chance that they could get off a grab and maybe, you know, the knock up again. We see that Karma is coming in with Jace, Jace. to help out. Jace is going to clean up with Karma really well. See, Jace is jumping on the Darius first and immediately killing the Velkaz. Going back to the Darius who is hurting the Karma. And we do get the kills on them. Nice job from our bot lane and Jace for getting that. Seeing that because they came from behind so it was really hard for them to even get out of that situation, kind of like a sandwich. See that we get rid of the turret and now Yone is stuck by himself, maybe thinking about going on the bot laners, but he backs off. The Iron, and he is forced to kind of back off right now since the Iron Revenant is getting this turret by himself, needing someone to stop this right now, but he is backing off. Echo is getting his jungle not knowing he's warded right now, so maybe Noah can immediately jump in on this. Noah will grab the Echo, maybe stun him right here. Yep. We see that Noah is jumping on this Echo, trying to get the kill off by himself. Echo is slowly getting away. We see that Iron Revenant really wanted that <laughs> really kill wanted there. Really wanted that kill, yeah. <laughs> well, Noah got it, and now Noah has both buffs right now, and they got refreshed with the blue. So Noah is refreshed with blue buff, at least. We see that Drake is coming up in a minute. Maybe we can get our third Drake of the game. And uh, Rift Herald is up right now. Maybe we can get another Rift Herald. Arrow, egg, 
cook them up. Yep. Thank you for watching. Ah, uh, they surrendered. Probably. They surrendered, or then we didn't get the button. Or they probably should the button after. Because we're streaming and watching and stuff. Yeah. Alright, are we off? Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in.